everybody, what's going on? Um, I'm not in my dark room right now. I actually decided to put on something other than a black t-shirt and come out to Universal Studios Florida because I wanted to try my hand at doing a Universal vlog. I haven't done one in about a year. Last time I did one was a Universal Monsters video. I talk about it all the time. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Anyway, we're here to do a little bit of everything. I really wanted to make this video all about the classic stuff, so like remnants of the original park, and I still want to include that throughout the video, but I also want to share some new things. There's a lot of new stuff going on in the park right now, and I just wanted to do a little roundup tour of the park, do some classic things, do some new things, check some new stuff out, and uh, bring you along for the ride. But before we do any of that, you know me, you know the channel, you know I love Halloween Horror Nights, and there's a thing that I have to check out that I haven't shown off in a video yet, well, kind of did, but I have to go see it for myself in person. Let's go over there. Now I know we're talking about Classic Universal, but come on, I had to. Seeing the shirt in person, I really, really like it. I like that design, I like the blue graphic. And if you're less into t-shirts, they have mugs, magnets, a trucker hat and what I'm really here for the fog candle also you can get ready too because they have some Chucky merch in here this is truly one of my favorite stores in the park because for a lot of the time it's pretty quiet and they have a good stock of the retro USF marquee merch I love this shirt so much I really love these glasses because you know they look very 80s they look very retro and of course they feature the big four of attractions but they also feature very specific opening dates and descriptions on the back. So this is that extra detail that I love. And it's okay if you don't really like apparel because they have a lot of other stuff. Like pins, like posters, they have this really cool pennant here. Really neat, great to display. I love this mystery pin set. I'm missing a few, I'm still missing Jaws, E.T., Frankenstein, and uh, Chili Willy and Scooby-Doo. It's not going to be in focus. That's okay, but I have uh, both of the Woody Woodpecker Chasers, so consider myself a pretty cool guy for that. And while we're in the area and talking about horror, let's hit up the OG horror-based attraction at Universal Studios, the Horror Makeup Show. He suffered for his art. Here he injected bleach into his eye. No, he didn't. I made that up. But for the hunchback, he wore a 40-pound rubber hump and a brace that contorted his body so that he was unable to stand upright for the entire film shoot. Now, sadly, most of his techniques are lost to us forever because he was so secretive with how he did his makeup, he took those secrets to the grave. But the Phantom started a horror craze in Hollywood which paved the way for makeup genius Jack Pierce in the 1930s. Jack is the guy at Universal who created the looks for The Wolfman, The Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Elon <laughs> Musk. What movie is this? E.T. E.T., yes! There he is! <laughs> These are two of the actual seven that were used in the film over 40 years ago. This is Hollywood history before your eyes. That's for a kid's show? Yeah, it's for the live-action sequel to Dora the Explorer. Eddie! Yeah. Ah! Help me, help me! No! Stop! 
Oh man, what a good show the horror makeup show is. One of the few opening day attractions, of course, left at Universal. It's one of two shows with animal actors being the other show, but honestly, you know me, you know I love the Halloween, the horror, and all that stuff, and of course Universal's legacy with horror. I've talked about it in past videos, so it's a great show, it's comedic, it's informative, it's really a great addition, really reminds me of those studio days when the park used to be about the making of movies, the magic behind making movies. And yeah, it's just incredible that it still exists. I'm surprised it's still there, but I really hope it stays uh, for a whole lot longer and that I can continue experiencing that show into the future. But I've talked about that attraction being one of the few remaining attractions at Universal Studios Florida. Of course, we got to hit the big one, the one everybody knows about, the only ride left at Universal Studios Florida from opening day, and that's ET Adventure, my favorite ride in this park. So let's go take a trip, save the green planet. Hello. I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the E.T. Adventure. But I'm afraid we don't have much time, so I'm going to cut right to the chase. E.T. needs your help. Now, we've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Botanicus, calling for E.T. to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet. E.T.'s friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like because it's going to be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get him home and there's not a moment to lose because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring his planet back to health. E.T. must go home and only you can help him. When you board the vehicle, please... Hold right there! E.T. Adventure, what a great ride. It's a classic, it's the only opening day ride remaining in the park. I just really love the attraction and uh, I think it's getting some updates. You know, a lot of people were worried, including me, they were just gonna kinda let the ride go into disrepair, but as we've seen with a lot of recent aesthetic changes, like with the posters and the adventure passports, that maybe we're seeing a new age for E.T. It did survive the large kid zone uh, demolition plan, so it's clear that Universal knows the fans love E.T. and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. All right, so I'm back by Fear Factor of all places. It's like the only place where you can get away from the Mardi Gras copyrighted music, but I wanted to do one big speed round of park updates because there's a lot, lot, lot going on. Villain Con, the facade is finished. It looks great. I really love the villain posters. And of course the sign looks great. The purple and orange will look really well balanced together. And it added a lot of new life to that Soundstage 40 building. Of course, construction walls have also gone up in Kid Zone. And now it seems all but confirmed that DreamWorks is coming. The only thing that's left is Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster, which they're probably gonna retool and re-theme that coaster, but it's looking like DreamWorks. I'm excited for whenever they open that new expansion. Also, new food booths, new permanent food booths have come to the New York section of the park. We have 57 Fair and Avenue Eats. It looks really cool. I haven't tried any of the items from there. It's great to have two new permanent food booths. It really adds a new flair to the area when there's not an event going on like Mardi Gras or Halloween Horror Nights when there's a lot of food around there. Super Mario Brothers movie just came out this past week and it's been really doing well at the box office so we're having installations in city walk we have merch in the parks we have cool photo ops universal's really really promoting this thing especially with super nintendo world coming right around the corner at epic universe so yeah it's crazy to see all this promotion and all this mario merch i'm hoping 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 we can get some super nintendo world merch soon at the park but yeah that's all with the new stuff i think i ought to show you guys some remnants and easter eggs because i did mention that in this video and i haven't shown any of that yet so let's hit some of those
Now, I know those aren't like the most uncommon Easter eggs when it comes to Universal, um, but I thought it was fun. I think it's fun to show off some of the classic parts of Universal that are still there because there isn't much left. I don't want to keep the train going when it comes to retro stuff and get some dinner, but I don't want to just get dinner anywhere. You know, Richter's is right here. It would be easy to just go in there and grab a sandwich, but I want to go over there to the Holy Land of Mel's. Okay, we have finished with Mel's. Mel's was good, as always. It's a great atmosphere, great experience, very classic. It's got that American graffiti, 50s diner style. It's been around since the park opened. It's awesome, wonderful. But we're done with studios. We're actually gonna head over into City Walk for my last little bit of this video. A really special place that I love a lot. And it's really great when talking about Easter eggs of Classic Universal. Some of you may know where I'm headed with this, but let's head over there and I'll tell you what's going on. I am of course talking about the Universal Legacy Store. Yes, this is a store where you can get your Universal merchandise, but I really love it for all the Easter eggs it has to the Classic Park. And I want to take you on a little tour inside, so let's hop in. But first, before we go inside, we are greeted with some gargoyles, which used to sit on the original gates of the park for the first few-ish years of its operation. Now, as you can see by some of the construction photos up here above the retro merch, this front half of the store is really dedicated to classic Universal Studios Florida. Right as you walk in, you can see a really cool model of the E.T. Adventure Ride Vehicle, although there are no bikes, which is kind of interesting to me. Just around the corner from there, we have some great props and images from Back to the Future, the ride. Over here, we have a really cool prop from the horror makeup show, one of the transformation vessels from The Fly when they did a fly-themed overlay to that show. And speaking of spooky things, we have actually a proton pack from the Ghostbusters Spectacular show. We have here a photo from the Islands of Adventure Preview Center found at Universal Studios Florida back in the 90s. Really cool. I hope they do one of these for Epic Universe soon. Along this back wall, we have some props from looks to be Mardi Gras, a Beetlejuice head model. Also on this back wall, we have another model, this time for the Earthquake subway vehicle, which is really neat. Making our way to the middle, we have two pretty amazing confrontation scene models. It's really cool to see this stuff. I really love these because they show the detail that went into these sets, especially for an attraction like Confrontation that was so set heavy. And while these are just screens in the middle, I love how they have a rotating set of maps, images, uh, video clips from the original park. It's really cool and sets that retro atmosphere. So yeah, the Legacy Store is pretty incredible. I don't know how well you can hear me, by the way, but the Legacy Store is a pretty incredible place. I could spend hours and hours in there because it's got so much nostalgia, so many Easter eggs, and I thought it was a perfect way to close this video because it's really the place to be when you want to get retro merchandise, when you want to see classic Universal props. It's just really dedicated to the fans, to the nostalgia, to what Universal is and uh, how, how it's been changed and how it's evolved over the years. But I want to thank you all for watching this vlog. I know it was a little different. It was a little weird. I do want to try vlogging more. I don't feel like I've fully gotten it yet, but I want to learn. And so if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I just had a fun time running through the park and experiencing the park and sharing it. It's really weird. Something different for me. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video again, and I, of course, will see you all in the next one. Probably another Universal video, maybe another essay-themed video, maybe another vlog. Who knows? Anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Take care.